Nia, you have to understand. I was so wrapped up in my own pain. I never even thought about you or our family or the ramifications my words could have on any of us. I'm sorry for trying to steal the totem, for abandoning you. I never thought you weren't a real woman. I just wanted you to be in as much pain as I was. But seeing you today, your abilities, your selflessness, You are the dreamer. You always have been. Forgive me. No. Maeve, you may have spent your life studying to be the dreamer, but I spent mine trying to make you happy. You are my best friend. And you tore me down like it was nothing. And then you ran away. You changed your name. You pretended like nothing ever happened. You can't erase what you did, Maeve. Because of your actions, we both had to grieve Mom alone. And I had to learn these powers that I didn't ask for alone. I needed you. I needed my big sister. If it wasn't for Kara and Brainy, I would have been completely lost. So, no, I can't forgive you. But I can offer you a second chance. A final chance. For us to be sisters again. Thank you. Hey, you should have this. <laughs> and you should probably call Dad. <laughs> he misses you. If only I had my bloody magic. Before it's too late. Please, give me the totem. Why? To guarantee you one last thing for me to, to, to do.